Hello everyone, and welcome to this channel update. I guess I should call it like that, a channel update video. Um, before I go into everything I want to do with this channel, let me first say thank you to everyone who's been supporting this channel, all the subs and all the guys that like my videos. I really appreciate it and thank you. And now if you're watching this and you're kind of getting familiar with my channel, um, please consider subscribing. It helps me out, helps me a real bloody lot, um, makes my channel grow and give me input so I know what you guys like and I can provide better entertainment. Um, so there's that. And I apologize to everyone who has been posting questions. There are uh, things I can't respond to because of various reasons I won't go into. Um, but do know that I read those comments and I really, really appreciate it. I really do. So thank you guys for everything so far. Now, as for this um, video, the updates for the channel, there are some things I um, I have done and some things that I want to do. Now, you see this background. This is one of the uh, uh, this is a screenshot of an early part of my uh, Dark Souls playthrough, and <laughs> I have yet to finish it. And for some reason, I, I haven't been able to find the uh, motivation to properly wrap the game. But that should be done very, very soon. So stay tuned for the last episode of OHOT Let's Play Dark Souls. But I will be coming back to Dark Souls in a minute. Because my playthrough was Dark Souls 3. Now, most of you guys know that I've also been doing um, some, some draft videos of Rivals of Ixalan. Rival of Ixalan is the second set in the block of Ixalan you have um, with magic, like every block nowadays consists of two sets, it used to be three sets, and I think they're gonna, they're, 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 they are gonna change that up again in the future, um, so I really haven't paid attention to that, so their whole structure is gonna change once again, but... To be quite honest, I haven't been enjoying Rivals of Ixalan as much as I've been enjoying Ixalan. Rivals is completely different. And I like my games more mid rangey and I can't do that in Rivals. The format is very, very unforgiving. You need to play hyper-aggressive. Then again, you get shut down by a lot of cards still. So, it's a really weird format, and like I mentioned, I have not been enjoying it as much as I want to. So, there may be one or two more videos in the future of me doing Rivals of Ixalan drafts. But I'm actually look more looking forward towards the next set, which is a new block, and that's going back to Dominaria. And for those of you who are a bit familiar with the um, storyline of magic, a lot has happened in Dominaria. And uh, I first started playing magic around the time that where uh, an Apocalypse came out, so that was the invasion set. The war with uh, Phyrexia came to a conclusion. And after that, Odyssey and onwards focused on Dominaria after the war. So this has quite a bit of nostalgia for me, and especially so for, play, for, for Magic players who have been playing longer than I have. And Dominaria is a real integral part of the uh, Magic mythos. And the people you see here, it's uh, Joira, Teferi, and the big guy in the back is Karn. They've been really, really important for the Magic storyline before uh, the, the attention uh, or the focus shifted to what you could call the Magic the Gathering equivalent of the Avengers or the Justice League, the Gatewatch, with Jace uh, pretty much being the uh, face of Magic. And don't get me wrong, I don't say that having such a thing in Magic is necessarily a bad thing, but it does get kind of tiresome and it does feel like really ripped off and unoriginal so I'm kind of stuck to, to get back to you know like the lore of 
of, 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 of magic old, magic magic past. So really stuck with that. Not necessarily for gameplay. I'm, I'm of course I don't know how that's gonna be, but I'm really interested in um, seeing what Dominaria brings back. And I will be doing draft videos of that, and hopefully have more fun with that than I have with Rivals of Exelon. Now. So far about card games, let's talk a bit about actual video games. Um, I have been doing a Skyrim stream on Sunday. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do stream on Twitch regularly. I have been doing so in the past few weeks. And, um, the last two times I streamed, I played Skyrim. It was a suggestion by, uh, by, by one of my fans. And, I really really like it. It's a wonderful game. I really love the aesthetics. I love the, the, the sounds track. I love the music. I love the way the game handles and the freedom you get. But and that's the thing. It's a huge game. It's humongous. It can easily take hundreds of hours to complete the game. Uh, while I like playing Skyrim, I don't think that's really uh I I don't think that Skyrim will lend itself to, to do a dedicated playthrough, simply because it's too large, it's gonna take too much time. So I will keep that for streams and all that. And, but there are some games that I am willing to do a playthrough of, if that sounds good to the guys, to you people watching my videos. And I have mentioned Dark Souls a few times, um, like not Dark Souls 3, which I have been playing, but the first one, the original, the flawed masterpiece. And instead of Skyrim, I was originally just going to uh, dive into Dark Souls, the first game, and then I heard that there was going to be a remastered edition, and I even heard some rumors that if you have the FL copy of the game, you can get the remastered uh, version for like half the price. So I was like, yeah. Let's just wait until we get the remastered edition, but that's gonna that's gonna be somewhere uh, around May. I don't know if it's gonna be in the beginning of May or at the end of May, but it's gonna take a while. So I want to do something in between, and there are two um, games that I've come up with to do. And the first of those, also been a suggestion by a fan, has been to play Zelda. Now I don't know. Well, I was gonna say I don't know, <laughs> I know nothing about Zelda. I do know, do know a few stuff. Zelda is a princess. The guy you can see here on the the the, the horseback is Link, and you also have Ganondorf. I think he's called uh, the the guy that's grayish brown with red beard. Uh, but that's pretty much pretty much everything I know. Yeah, and that you have chickens. You have a lot of chickens. But that's <laughs> pretty much all I know about the game. Um, problem is. Um, None of the Zelda games have been released for PC. You know, you can do um, something on the console. You can do you can do it on the um, uh, the Game Boy, the 3DS, and I do have a 3DS, and I could theoretically play um, a Zelda game on my 3DS. But the problem is, I don't have the hardware to record it, and it's quite pricey. Think of like. I th I think the price was something like 200 euros, and I'm quite hesitant to invest that just yet. So what I'm trying to do is run Zelda Breath of the Wild on a Wii U emulator. So I can play it on the PC, but it's emulated. And I'm trying to figure out how to do that as we speak. It's currently downloading as I'm recording this video. So maybe one of these days I will start that. Up and do a blind Zelda Breath of the Wild playthrough. But that's just one of the two games that I'm thinking about. The other one is Mass Effect. And Mass Effect is, is one of the first games I really got into. It's, it's the first series of games that I felt totally head over heels in love with. And for you guys who don't know Mass Effect, it's a space opera. And yeah, here's the point where everyone is like, yeah, what, what's a space opera? In terms of movies, think of Star Wars, think of Guardians of the Galaxy, think of Dune, uh, Jupiter Ascending, um, 
that kind of gem. Uh, as for TV series, for those of you that don't watch mo much movies, you have uh, Star Trek, uh, Farscape, Babylon 5, uh, Firefly, and perhaps uh, Andromeda, Stargate. Those are all space operas. You have pretty much all the time a human hero and a grand scope, a galactic threats, uh, and lots and lots of aliens. And Mass Effect plays somewhere between a shooter and a role playing game. So you run around with your weapons, but you do have a lot of RPG like abilities you can use. And to demonstrate that, there are a few classes to play with. And if I'm going to do a Mass Effect playthrough, um, I'm going to have to pick like a class and a playstyle to, uh, you know, like complete the game with. or more accurately complete the trilogy with. Now, since I've already played Mass Effect, I'm kind of familiar with the franchise. Um, and I haven't played Zelda, I'm kind of more stoked to do more Zelda, but I may do like one day Mass Effect. Like, let's say the Mass Effect Monday, where on Monday you'll have a Mass Effect video, and uh, let's say on, on, on Tuesday and Thursday you'll have, or Wednesday and, and Thursday or something like that, you will have a Zelda video. But before I start up a Mass Effect video, I would like to have some input on that. First of all, would you guys like me to play Mass Effect? Would you guys like me to record it and post um, a playthrough of Mass Effect 1 through to 3 with everything included and all? And if yes, what kind of classes would you, uh, would you like me to play? Like there are... A few different classes that you have in Mass Effect, you have like, um, there are six of them and they are based around certain specialties, like you have combat, technology and biotics. And combat, that's basically where the game, there is it evolves into a shooter, the soldier class. It's all about weapon damage. But you can also use more like magical stuff. But it's technology based and you play like an engineer and that's basically uh, somewhere between crowd control and just shutting down enemies. You know, you can see um, the engineer wielding a pistol and what's the orange thing on, on the wrist is called a uh, only tool where they use like um, abilities to overload shields or dampen abilities or whatever. Or you can use actual space magic in space and use biotics as the class called an adept which is all about gravity manipulations you can pick up enemies with your magic you can throw them across the room with your magic so soldier is the most shooter class and engineer and an adept have less focus on weapons and more on like fantastical abilities and you can mix and match these um these specialties, for example, you can combine combat with technology, with tech, and you get an infiltrator, which is more of a specialized class. You can see it, it's basically the sniper equivalent of whatever. But it does have its, its combat, its weapon uh, focused abilities complemented with tech abilities, so it can still overload shields. It isn't as versatile as the soldier when it comes to guns, but you can you 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 can still do a lot with a sniper rifle. You can also play like uh, the, the the mix between combat and biotics between magic, and then you have the vanguard class, and you can see it wielding a shotgun, and you use your your magic, your biotics, um, to getting close and do a lot of damage. It's really high risk, high reward. And last but not least, you can also mix technology with biotics and get the Sentinel class, which is the least amount of focus on weaponry, but it has a lot of versatility in terms of abilities. So I, for example, have played through the game as a Sentinel, as a Vanguard, and as an Infiltrator. Um, and if I'm going to do another playthrough, I would like your opinion on what class seems fun to showcase. And another thing is is the way you play through the game. You're, you have to make a lot of decisions in these uh, Mass Effect games. 
and some of these have far lasting consequences. So some some consequences in Mass Effect One, some of these decisions, you will feel their uh, the impact they have only until like Mass Effect Two or maybe even in Three, because Mass Effect Two loads every lo loads your save from Mass Effect One, and Mass Effect Three loads your save. From Mass Effect 2. So every decision you've made will be loaded into the next game. And they have a sort of karma meter. You can either play as another you know, badass hero, Renegade, or as the uh, do good uh, Paragon hero, or of course somewhere in between. But yeah. If you would like to see me do Mass Effect and you, you have. Um, suggestions or you know like things you want to see you know, let me know i really appreciate it so that's pretty much everything um i want to say about the future of the channel uh, this update um so to, to give a short recap i will still be doing uh skyrim streams um i will be uh setting up zelda breath of the wild and if you guys would like to, to see me uh, play through it, I will do make I will implement a Mass Effect Monday, and that's pretty much all I have to say for now. So again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you haven't already done so, feel free to like and subscribe. So I'll catch you guys very very soon. Cheerio.